Hi Aries, welcome to this Twin Flame Tower Love Reading. My name's Sophia, welcome back or welcome if you're new. Now I'm going to look at what planets are going on with you and it's a planet uh, Chevron. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. <laughs> anyway, that's to do with um, um, healing. So you might be uh, drawn towards, you know, uh, Reiki and all this kind of energy work at the moment. That's for some of you. Um, and also um, you might feel like um, more difficult stuff is happening at the moment and, and things like that. So um, take that as it resonates because that's what that planet is. It's still in your chart at the moment. So let's see what's happening with you. Oops. What's happening? Oh, that came upside down. Let's see. That's got to be upside down because they're all straight. <laughs> right. Okay. So, let me see. Manifesting the do I think I only need to read this one. Generally, if I can't see it straight off, then I go through it. So, manifesting. This has got to be you. Hold on, that's... Oh, okay. So I get it. Sorry, I was just reading it. So you are trying to manifest your pentacles. Well, manifest all the... This is the, this is the highest card on, on the actual... Um, fool's journey is higher than the fool's journey because this is what you try to master is mastering how to manifest and you manifest by having all the elements on the table this is the magician card so this is see the one <laughs> this is the one that most is going for so someone's trying to manifest um all of the elements and i was going to state tower moments here and the towers come out so there's been a tower moment of not being in your truth with this sword being down here, which is uh, making you trying to um, manifest something different. And um, this also could be uh, finding about going into um, mission as well. And I'm stating that because of I've seen the all seeing eye symbol in this card, which um, so you might want to have mission. Your your purpose is to talk about i don't know versions of david ike stuff like that and this is also knowing about your worlds you are two worlds because he's pointing to the earthly plane plus up above that's what the manifest um magician card is stating here and your foundation is crumbling here because you are manifesting which the towers here so i did state that chiffron planetary system is about difficult times so it may seem like stuff is crumbling that is not you're like well um, i'm trying to do my best and things are falling away that is a uh, temporary short term to get a better result because of here um this person is just trying to manifest and having tower moments and kind of just focused on that next to it it's like um it's actually stopping this I call it behavior, but there's more to it than what the eye sees with the, this um, seven of swords. Because as you can see, what you're doing here by focusing on all the elements, not just focusing on manifesting your person is what I want to state, is that you're stopping this from happening. Because this tower then leads on to him because he's walking towards the tower, <laughs> if that makes sense. This is what the seven of swords of what people will state is sneaky. But 
you may have who this resonates is got aligned with that and understand the dynamics of your person is in the cold he's around um, wolves here look two wolves here but you know more so and when he comes towards you because this person is look looking at the flames so, see he's like i'm off i'm going towards the flame and it might seem to you initially like oh well um that sneaky shady behavior which the other tower readers always say that but this truth sword is near the flame so my truth is my twin flame and i'm a twin flame as well this is what this person goes to so the center of this both towers are manifesting is because you're understanding because you're the leader that that's what you've changed your perception of this whoever this resonates with if it isn't this is what you need to do for this to change there's always the leader the spirit the spiritual person the um the yin the 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 feminine to make the man or woman just a feminine to make the changes within because the magician's card is as i said within without well i don't know if i said that but that's what he is within without understanding both worlds is what the magician card is about and using all of the elements because most people just think it's the eyeballs but as you understand that like i said your person is the one facing the tower here so that gives him a tower moment or her and then their foundation crumbles and whoever they're living with him or her who thinks they're shit don't stink they're the queen of their castle no that's how it rolls because <laughs> people want to give you know, ask me to give timelines it depends on you and what scenario i can't say a timeline of when you get four months in this will happen because i don't know when you started to do the work it's individual to how serious and committed you are this is someone serious and com committed and totally transforming this or this is for who this resonates with needs this is what needs to do if you're worried about this person here because this is the person is why you're saying this is shady because this person may live or connected to that person but that person is connected to you because you're connected to the twin flame and you cannot have not a connection with whatever your twin flame is same as with you vice versa because you are one so this is what this person understands and if you don't understand that's what you need to understand please go into my playlist so i'm just going to get some more clarity any more advice on this line here any more what nots of what to say what's going on two foundations are crumbling now when i say foundations they just say that that means understanding of your home life is not of what you may have wanted or has changed you into a person that is not of the love that you have attracted with your twin flame which it now needs to crumble your home life because of um belief systems <clears throat> okay before let me see if you can say that strife now that's transferring because you're getting the strength it takes a lot of strength for this twin flame and you guys definitely know this to to keep going to go within it's um i've got to do a video about that <sighs> i might do that but yeah it takes a lot of strength i'm gonna not talk about it here. i'll go in so this is the leo so it might be connected with leo not necessarily because of you don't even know what your person's north node south node and we're all 12 signs so it doesn't i don't even know why people say signs but because i saw it i felt to say it so it might be and this let me see i can't even see what it is that's um that's the uh, is that capricorn what's that that's saturn yes which is capricorn which is 10th health so before you try to control it now you're getting the strength to let be and work on yourself. That's what this card. Because you try to control it is why it was strife. Now see all the yellow. The sun is the healing. The sun is rebirth. The sun is nurturing. You're going in nurturing yourself. Manifesting your wants into your reality for the twin flames. Which leads on two of wands here. You now know what to do. 
which will reflect on your person knowing what to do with his or her tower moment. This is all about going within third eye, crown, twin flame, kundalini and lastly caduceus which is all of this is healing. No more strife and I state that because you're understanding your twin flame. This card is bush, flame, right in your face, flame. It looks like a total passionate card but here's why you was getting strife as well. You wasn't controlling your R complex, which is just your reptilian brain, meaning you was just reacting to this Seven of Swords. You got to stop coming around having sex. You come to me, go back to her. You got to sort this out, blah, blah, blah. Now, this person understands, oh, what, that wherever he is over there, it's cold, it's icy, and he's surrounded by wolves and constantly thinks about you. You are his truth. Your understanding doesn't matter who this person is coming out of the tower. It's about how this person feels. This person is feeling you, is you, knows it's you, knows you're the truth. So you turn into the queen of wands, which is the twin flame. Wands is the passion. And this is this is transformation from the tweet, Queen of Wands to the High Priestess because that is one of representation, sorry, of one of the pillars of the uh, Twin Flame, which um, she is in the center of the pillars, which I won't go into that. You want to know about High Priestess, check that out. And like I said, you are taming that argument here. You still have it. The reptilian brain isn't bad. It's bad if you don't control it because automatic it is to react that's the bad side nothing is created within us or on this planet to be bad it's all uh, um to show you the negative to so if not you wouldn't know the positive if this person was okay your person would never leave hence why i state your understanding that without this person you wouldn't be a twin flame in the first place because he would just think oh she's all right and your person i can 100 percent will guarantee settle with all right you're lucky you, she is the negative, or her is the negative over there, which makes him want to come towards you in the night. So you're understanding the dynamic, which is excellent. This, underneath the manifesting, this is you, add, this leads on to your person showing up as a seven of wands. Now, the cards have dual meanings, more so in other cards, in, in most cards, but most have dual this is what tarot is about the negative and the positive because it's about equally balancing plus removing the negative to get to the positive which you do to get a more positive in life meaning that the seven of wands generally means pointless it's not going anywhere it's defensive behavior arguments whatnot like i said with the reptilian brain because you now are taming that understanding which is inner work inner standing leads to this card then transforming from the seven the arguments the defensive to your person showing up as um this like is the fool you know the fool has that leap that leg taking the leap onto the twin flame because this is six of wands with the bird there which is the twin flame representation and knowing he's a twin flame and this is a kind of a young guy here, meaning that, I know it's blurred, but you can kind of see. This kind of means that he's um, going back to, it's like a restart. The tower restarts, doesn't it, as well? So it's like a restart back to his youth, onto this new start, into the fool's journey, to the walls of Six of Wands, knowing he's a twin flame, and passionately going towards that. Also, look, I like this smiley face, that looks like to me. But this is the Ace of Cups. So this will lead on to your person becoming more emotionally invested because generally they're not. There's a reason for that. That's the purpose of the twin flame. But um, also, it could be as well you understand it. Or no, actually they're telling me when you become the high priestess, which you're transforming into, when your person shows up with the fish in the cup, this is what this card represents. You will understand what the fish and cup really means, which go and check out the page of cups. I can't talk about it. That's why I made the playlist. It's way deeper than what most know. And if you listen to me, you'll understand what I'm saying. Once you become the high priestess, this blossoms look, and then you understand what the fish in the cup means, which means that you then get your ace of the cup. It's all about inner knowing, understanding, inner standing. 
this one was upside down which is let me see oh it's by the tower so it's oh i get it this to me is your manifesting card okay so it was upside down so it's like before you didn't this didn't tower didn't happen this foundation this person didn't move or the shake up whatever needed didn't happen because you wasn't understanding how you um, all the elements and how to manifest correctly or about this journey this isn't just about manifesting this magician card because it's the number one on the tree of the tree of life so this is about knowing everything of the twin flame all the elements as above so below the laws knowing all that that's someone who's on this journey of wanting to know all that hence why this was upside down because this is the wake up call you are now waking up to your true self as a twin flame higher consciousness from above is giving you the magic pill the spell whatever here right changing from um, your home life like i said towers is uh, one foundation which is the tree which is a home which is your rooted belief systems come from your home your home environment to another dynamic which is the twin flame and this is manifesting like i said because this is looks like a spell which is manifesting before like i said with this strife card it was a nightmare right because you didn't understand that your twin flame this represents the crown on the high priestess the high priestess is a counterpart for the hierophant which is a twin flame match but like i said now you are awakening to it because of this when this foundation crumbles from you manifesting this so this is all about manifesting to me so it's a it's a good reading let me get any more um especially with that magician card coming out uh, first card as well that's the right result and it's you see then your person needs oh look talking about your person this card that's your counterpart why because he has the key that's the key to it understanding that you're the hierophant no your person's a hierophant you're the high priestess this is the key you lead but if you're not in your truth, it shines back on your person being not in his truth. And this is how you always lead. <laughs> Blue, third dimensional, um, veil of illusion, holding on to the lies, the deception. Once again, duality of cards. You have to change that perception and understand the key is knowing the hierophant as your person. Then you understand him and love him for whatever he is knowing that that's not his way of thinking that's the situation of the twin flame journey the free will experience which then converts into the tower and so forth and so forth hence the fool's journey so that's brilliant that coming out so let's get one last card of clarification one last card please there it is what's happening there lovers wow check that out and you know what i like about this card i think i had it once before because why i'm saying it see the two birds there twin flame lovers and it's stone it's like if you follow this journey like this card this like i said the main card top card of the deck illuminated one which means wise knowing all and taking action without taking action this is no point this is the illuminated which is the twin flame this is set in stone <laughs> there's no doubt five and one six twin flame it's set in stone you follow the steps it happens the steps are knowing your life this is the story of your life which is tarot so please um check out both my playlists if you're new um hopefully this resonated for someone and thanks for listening